Welcome to the official Munzee podcast. I'm Rob, also known as Coach V, your host and the president of Munzee. And I'm Craig, also known as my Show. I'm an avid Munzee player and I'm here to explore the game further. Each week, we'll delve into Munzee's mysteries, divulge some secrets, and inform players from around the world just what is coming your way. So sit back and relax as today's episode, we're going to chat all about the new light mysteries. Kalma, I think it's called. And of course, what's in store, Rob? What's in store for the Munzee birthday month of hey. July? How are you going, mate? <laughs> I am going well. It That's is the, the final month of June. Can you it believe... Is. Everyone always says, no matter what month it is, can you believe it's already almost? It's almost July. July. Exactly. Exactly. Man. Halfway through the year. It's amazing. Exactly. And for those of people out there around the rest of the world, I'm not talking about the US, I'm talking about the rest of the world, uh, it's the end of the financial year, Rob. See, so you start to get oh. your taxes done. See, because so we go from halfway through the year to halfway through the year. We don't do like the US, you know, you know what do you do January to December? Yeah, yeah. No, our, fi- our financial years goes from July to June. So there you go. Wow. Well, there you go. You learn more than just Munzee on this podcast, mate. I'm telling I'm, you, <laughs> all, all the learning. I love it. Every day is a school day. All right, mate. You've just come back from a trip. What's going on there? Oh man, I'm I'm getting back into relax slash work mode. I, I've been working as well, but yeah, my uh, my son turned 22 over the weekend, Aww. and um, yeah, lots of the players out there, you know, that have been around for a long time, they all know mm-hmm. him, um, Trey, and mm-hmm. uh, yeah, so he turned 22, so that makes um, well, that makes my parents really old. <laughs> um, that's how I've put it to other people. It's not me. It's my parents that are old. Says, to have says, a 22-year-old grandson. Yeah. Says the gray-beaded old man. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> uh, I know. It's really scary. Yeah. So he um, he turned 22. So he, he mm-hmm. actually came over to visit us um, mm-hmm. in England. And so, yeah, we... Um, we, uh, spend some time actually over in Paris. Um, he works for Disney and so he's able to get into Disney parks and oh. three other people. Three. <gasps> what? what? Yeah. Wow. So when, when you have perks like that, you take yeah. advantage of them. You have to, you have yeah. to take advantage of that stuff. Yeah, so we saw some of the cultural things around Paris. We mm-hmm. uh, they're setting up for the Olympics this year, which was of really course. cool. So we saw the Olympic rings on the Eiffel Tower. Oh wow, very cool. We yep. uh, we went and toured a lot of uh, cool places. Um, Louis fluent in French, so having her as a tour guide and as someone oh. to talk to the locals was really nice. Um, then yeah, we spent a couple of days at Disneyland in Paris, and um, we all had a good time. Over the course of four days, mm-hmm. we walked. 40 miles, 40 what? miles. We put that on <laughs> my legs dead. We're, we're all of us. We were very tired. A question um, for you, Rob, quickly, quick yeah. question. Munzee related yeah. question as well. Did you yeah. activate it on your Fitbit or your iWatch or whatever you've got in terms of your thing? And yeah. now is that connected to your Munzee app? It is. <laughs> and it has been since we fixed it. Thank there you go. That. There yeah. you go, people. I, I captured almost every single Munzee uh, mm-hmm. around the entire park um, because we did wow. that much walking. So yeah. there were a few that I managed to miss. But yeah. Uh, but yeah, a good good growth there. And yeah, just had a great time. And um, and uh, he actually just loaded up on a plane just a little bit ago and is taking off, headed back to Florida. So, wow. um, so I'm settling back into just sitting here at my mm-hmm. desk and doing podcasts and <laughs> doing regular work and getting the claim requirements out there mm-hmm. and all that kind of stuff. So back, back to the back to the real world back to the real nice. world well happy yeah. birthday to trey now if people yeah. don't know trey you can actually see a video of trey if you go onto the official munzi youtube channel and it's their um what do you call it your promotional video yeah. and he's he's actually the kid literally he's a child you know yeah. a blonde haired child with the green munzi shirt on that's trey yep. um he yeah. is still blonde hair but he's not a child anymore so happy birthday yeah. trey he was 13 in all of that. So wow. uh, those videos were made, yeah, quite a while ago. <laughs> and um, they were a lot of fun. Uh, mm-hmm. But, yeah, he um, his hair is back to being about that long again. And, um, <laughs> yeah, otherwise, I didn't know yeah just living, <laughs> living life and having fun. Yeah, yeah so exactly. anyway, enough about me and what I've been doing for the last couple of days. Sorry, everyone, for that uh, three-minute uh, plus. Don't worry. Um, but, yeah, Craig, what have you been up to? 
Mate, I've been the opposite. Um, I've been relaxing, basically, and uh, getting work done uh, per se. And um, I've been sitting at home, and all of a sudden, I've been listening to things like you know the Munzee Maniacs podcast that came oh, out yeah. with a new episode um, this week as well. So I've listened to that. I thought that was a really, really good episode. They had their other clan members on in their episode as well. So they had not just the three of them, but they had the two other clan members as well. And I will say this because I know they listen to this podcast, and that is – uh, Kevin, stick with your clan, mate. Get it done. You can do it. It's okay. You know what I mean? Don't drop out of your clan uh, okay. just because you don't have that many Munzies around you. Um, ask for more. Ask for yeah. more. There's plenty we, of people that are happy to put out more Munzies for you, mate. So We will all grow the map for him. Um, exactly. But li- like he said on there, you're, you're looking at temperatures um, that are extremely hot, and he just isn't motivated, and that makes sense. There is one yeah. more person from that podcast to mention, mm-hmm. and it's not PJ this no. time. Or Sarah. Oh. Um, it is the name that we have both pronounced wrong. And the guy said, are you listening, Rob? And he specifically yeah. called you out as well. So his I name know. is Belug. Belug, oh. as opposed to Belugu, which I know that I have oh. called the wrong name for a really long time. So Belug, Belug. apologies. I believe yes. that was the con- correct pronunciation. If not, they can call me down on the Munzee Maniacs. <laughs> <laughs> Belug, we are sorry. Um, you know what, Rob? I listened to that too. I'm like, what's he talking about? And I didn't actually know or didn't even look into what his name is, how it's spelt, et cetera. Yeah. And I thought it was B A L L L O O. So Baloo. Yeah. And yeah. so, but no, it's Baloog. And you actually pronounce the G, the G. So there you go. Yeah. Apologies, yeah. Baloog. There we go. Uh, <laughs> mate, I've also been uh, watching some videos. Some Munzee videos have come out as well. And yeah. again, they're from our some of our favorite uh, Munzee players. Uh, and that is. Um, Minnesota boy, Minnesota boy, Minnesota boy. I've got to say it three times because he likes it three ways. Um, that's just the way it's going to happen from now on, Tim. So bad luck. If you don't like it, that's the way it is. So Minnesota yeah. boy has got a new video out there as well. And also Whelan or W. Helen, his alias is Munzee Events on uh, right. YouTube. Munzee Events. So uh, they've both got videos out there. And the videos, one is setting up for a uh, Munzee event. And the other one is the actual Munzee event vlog itself through Tim. Now, Rob, I've got to tell you this. The Munzee Events uh, YouTube channel and Tim's channel as well, if you don't follow these channels, guys, follow these channels because you got you get to see what happens in other parts of the world. Now, this event they had, Rob, they had it at the corn capital of the USA, I'm going to say. Um, yeah. It was just outside the uh, Minneapolis itself. So the people had to drive to this place. So they spread out their Munzee Events through. They don't have just always in the same place. It was in a park. Now, they go the extra mile, Rob, with their events. I will say this. They had they had lunch. So they had like the hamburgers and stuff, but they had, they had corn on the cob. They had Ooh. popcorn as you walk around, you know, collecting the pins. Now, the pins themselves weren't just a QR code on a flag this time. No, they were laminated corn stalks. Yes, like wow. actual colored yellow and green corn and the, the QR code was in there on stuck on there and it was laminated as well luckily enough because it was raining at the time but still this is the next uh, the next level that, the, that these guys take it to and i will say and i've spoken to uh, Whelan about this as well he's happy he's actually encouraging people to to do something similar to, to a spin off of these things as well he's going to yeah. put another video out there very soon in regards to all the games that they've played over the last sort of you know 2 or 3 years um oh. it's like a compilation video and showing all the different games that they've played munzi game what's well, their normal games turned munzi as well so and of course just to end off this uh, event that they had they had to play cornhole rob now ah. the cornhole, they even we even painted it green, the Munzee green, and put the Munzee logo on the corner with a corn on the cob on the cornhole as well. So there you go. Of course he um, did. Yeah. And that, by the way, is very American. So that is yes. great news. So for those of you who don't understand most <laughs> or any of that, please go watch that video. I haven't seen it yet. Um, I mm-hmm. saw them pop up, but like I said, I've been a little bit busy. So yeah, uh, yeah so I'll watch those. Um, as we've said, and as I've said on the Munzee Maniacs podcast, like it, it would be really great if all the players who are listening to this podcast would would also listen to the Munzee Maniacs and you mm-hmm. know all all of the all the content that's out there, all mm. the different videos for the Munzee Monthly Moments. Like, yeah. go watch those things, make comments, like them, um, mm-hmm. 
subscribe to the people because uh, all that we're doing is we're building a bigger uh, Munzee outreach network mm-hmm. to uh, to grow the game everywhere around the world. So yeah, and I will cool. say this as well: when it comes to the Munzee monthly moments, Rob, go through Cupper Z and you can watch every single video that's been posted through Cupper Z. Again, Sam, great job, mate. Um, yeah. But Rob, I'm telling you now, there are so many different types of people out there playing Munzee. You get to actually uh, how we're going to say get entertained by every single different video out there. Yes, they're the ones that are just say hi, I'm I'm Joe Blow and this is my Munzee and they cap it and that's it and that's fine but then there's others Rob out there that there's a husband and wife for instance and you know and she's telling them off and you know all that sort of stuff and you get to actually involve yourself in these people's lives that they do the Munzee Monthly Moments videos and of course of course they're going to love it as well when people comment or like their their videos more and more and it's going to encourage more people to do it as well so definitely rob that's a really good point mate really good point learn how to pronounce 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 um <laughs> other uh, other <laughs> players names like the so yeah who knows? Right. <laughs> exactly all there right mate uh the the week that was we had events only one in missouri and in, in the world we had uh, Hungary, uh, two in Germany, two in Australia, Victoria and Queensland. Now, I've got to say, Rob, the leaderboards over the weekend, I check them uh, every weekend, of course. On Friday, he is, I'm not sure if you know him or not, I do now because he presented himself to us at the uh, Geo Woodstock and said, Craig, I love the podcast. He was asking me about the microphones we use and how I get this quality sound, etc. as well. And that is Spinol. I'm going to say that wrong. It's probably not Spinol, but it's Spinol. Yeah. I'm going to yeah. pronounce it Spinol. Uh, mm-hmm. 240,000 points. Well done to Spinol. We had second place, HBRB with 219,000 points. Oh, 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 Humbird seven in third with 191,000 points. Watch out W. Helen. On Saturday, we had... <laughs> Saturday, the odd one with 173,000 points. Skindo, 162,000 points. And Munzee Prof, 160,000. What? In third, not second? Oh, yeah, Munz, Munz Prof, what are you doing? Uh, on Sunday, we had FRLK with 313,000 points. J1 Huseman, Great job with the water cooler. 2,440 mm. points and um, 2, 244,000 points. I'll say that correctly. <laughs> and, oh, geez, here we go, Rob. It's uh, Fike Jin. Thank you, Fike Jin. Fike Jin with 233,000 points. Very, very cool. Uh, mm. Now, the the events coming up for this week, Rob. Well, in the USA, we've got Massachusetts, and I'll just go ahead and say the world since, you know, there's only one yeah. in the USA. The world, we've got Holland, Luxembourg and ACT Australia. There you go. Now, the large events coming up. Rob, I see you actually added in a little bit here into the actual show notes. This is a great point. If you want to see the next big events uh, coming up, just use the new filter in the app itself that says most attendees. That's, uh, I didn't even think of that, Rob. Great job. Uh, yeah. July 6th, we have in Ontario, Canada, 22 so far attending that. In July 13th, in Suffolk, UK, 26 attending that. July 14th, Fairfield, Ohio, with 33 attending that. And July 26th, now, Rob, here you go. In I can't even pronounce this properly. I'm going to Wasian, say yeah. Wasian, Wasian, Ohio. There's 24 attendees so far there, which is really cool. That's the Friday before the Midwest Geo Bash. So there's a mega geocaching event on the Saturday. That's the Friday beforehand. Rob, it's all at the same location because it's just one big camp out for like a, a, a oh. yeah, four or five days. And guess what? What? I'm going to be there. Yes, hey. I'll be there for that one. Yes, yes, yes. I'm camping out in my my camper rig SUV, whatever you want to call it. So nice. I'll be there for that one. So get to uh, Western Ohio on July 26th. And, uh, you know, we, we could make that one a mega as well because it is a mega geocaching event. So come on, yeah. people. You can yeah. do it. Get enough and coexistors to, you know, just make exactly. a short little walk over to the QR code, scan it. Yeah. Exactly. And you've got other people out there too, like, uh, um, oh, well, Hailmeister. Hailmeister is going to be there. He's a big coexister as well. So he yeah. plays Munzee big time as well. So he's going to be there as well. So there's and other big players too. So get yourself to Ohio on July 26th. And Rob, don't forget, if you're a host of a growing event and we haven't noticed you, please reach out to me, not Rob, me on any social medias and I'll have a look at it and go from there and have a chat with you. So Rob, this week, we're coming up to this week. Now, what happened this week? I saw this come out and we had no one, no one, not even me, had any idea when this popped out. It just popped out. It Mm -hmm. popped out of the light, so to speak. And we're talking about the light mysteries. (laughs) Tell us more, light mysteries. 
out of the darkness, out of <laughs> nothing, there was light. That's exactly right. So, uh, yes, yeah, so we launched the light mystery on mm-hmm. Monday. Mm-hmm. And um, it, it, it was actually a fun one. Um, it, seen some good comments about it, um, just how... Uh, how how it, it's a little bit different um some some fun put into this one a little bit of creativity the 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 way that we've done the scatters and some of that and normally i would sit here and be like oh yeah the team did a really great job or you know i would specifically say oh mari came up with that idea but this time i'm gonna pat myself because you know what <laughs> i i was like I, I took this light mystery and I ran mm-hmm. with it. We we had the discussion. We decided we were going to do a light mystery, mm-hmm. um, but um, I I just had this spark one morning and um, and had a thought and just started running with it and wrote out a couple of notes and then did some research on the different uh, things that happen with light when it mm-hmm. passes through objects mm-hmm. and uh, yeah so that's where we came up with the reflection refraction and diffraction mm-hmm. and each of the different things um, when you capture a light mystery one of those three things is going to happen and each one of them kind of uh, deals with um, a a we call them caps, which is so it, it kind of caps as something and then scatters out, uh, different things depending on the, um, the, the response, I guess, from Mm -hmm. the servers. So yeah, there are, uh, different percentages, different chances for them, Mm -hmm. um, for it to scatter mirrors or rainbows for it to diffract and, and, uh, possibly, um, give the capper and the owner like a special card that this Mm -hmm. is the only way that you can get it. Also a silver lining card. Um, so yeah, Mm -hmm. just a, a little, a little different, um, yeah, just a little different spin on some things that we've done, um, similarly and the, the newest, um, the eighth elemental mystery that we have. Wow, wow. And just to try and reiterate as well, um, reading the blog post more so than anything else, what Rob said is you cap this uh, new light mystery, you can either get a reflection, up to two, two uh, mirrors will scatter, up to two. Uh, so that means one or two. If you get a refraction, up to two prisms will scatter. Uh, and if you get a diffraction, the owner and the capper will see, receive that undeployed silver lining card what you're talking about but it doesn't end there if you get a reflection or a refraction after the mirrors or the prisms has been capped itself look out because there could be an additional scatter nearby now those additional scatters are either card like some sort of card so it's either a mirror scatter or a rainbow road card as well so the they they scatter out as well so if it's a mirror scatter then you collect the mirror scatter, keep an eye out. It's a possibility where that mirror will keep on scattering from there. Possibility only. Uh, and obviously Rob knows all the percentages of that, but apart from that, that's what <laughs> yeah. will happen. So keep an eye out, people, on these scatters because once you collect one scatter, have a look at the map again and see if it scatters something else for you too. Um, I noticed this, Rob, because one of mine I placed out there because as soon as I saw this, I had to buy a handful of these, mate, and just and give them out to all my, my Munzee mates as well. Yeah. Um, and I did one for Tim, Minnesota boy, uh, in Minnesota itself, and he capped it that afternoon. He didn't realize. He capped it, and he, then he capped the, the, the actual scatter itself. He didn't mm-hmm. realize a card popped out from that scatter. Wow. And so I saw it because it's on, it's on my deployed list as the oh, owner. Right. Yeah. And I, I was like, wow, this is really awesome, this sort of stuff. So then, but I had to message him back and go, um, there's a card near you, and this is the card. Have a look at it. And he then capped it on his yeah. way to work itself. But it comes out as a normal card, people. This is what I love about yeah. it, Rob. And that means that anyone can cap it, and it's there for seven days. Yeah. So it's not like a normal scatter. It's actually a normal card. Now, uh, capping radius wise, these are all normal cap and radius, and that is the the three hundred uh, foot. They can be um, get, gotten with rover treats as well. Uh, and it, but there's still it's a card is still a card, so it's five hundred foot on the card. And again, yeah. rover treats can be used for that as well. So that's reading the blog post, Rob. I think I I think I've got my head around that. Do you, yeah. Uh, yeah. So we we envisioned this light mystery whenever we were talking about this card that scatters mm-hmm. just as something that becomes even more valuable for mm. the owner. Because obviously mm-hmm. if you put these light mysteries at popular locations and someone caps it and it scatters a card, then that card's sitting there for seven days. Yeah. So at an event, you, yes. you end up with, if, if an area is already covered with cards, mm-hmm then you end up with something that might 
you know, if let's say 20 people cap it and four of those people end up scattering a card, then you have four cards that are at that location that may already be covered with cards. Mm -hmm. So that card breaks any card, you know, proximity restrictions. Oh, that was my my, my next question. Now, now it, it, it also creates proximity restrictions yes. because it is a card deployed so yes. that means that no one will be able to deploy within 50 feet it is a it is. real card yeah so yeah yeah but, anyway. but it doesn't uh it, it it breaks the proximity but you can't break its proximity so that's, that right. makes sense that makes sense mate yeah. oh i tell you if guys if you have not got one of these um new light mysteries get to the freeze tag store there's no they're going to be there forever so it's okay yeah yeah uh, but you get to the freeze tag store get these in your little hot little hands and uh hand them around your clan mates as well um especially for next month's clan wars because obviously if there's scatter points going to be up again in the clan wars i don't know people this is not on the show notes <laughs> i don't if, know <laughs> yeah, there you go. he hasn't even done them yet people but um <laughs> but the if there's scatter points going to be on clan wars then these are going to be good scatter points too yeah and here you go rob get ready for it because you haven't done it yet but uh the cards if they scatter from that are the cards going to count towards scatter points yeah. so, oh no 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 so you, oh, well, there you go no no, no i'm just i'm, I'm, I'm asking yeah. yeah i'm asking because i'm a man of the yeah. people you know that. i know i and i appreciate that because <laughs> that that is a good question but mm. i will tell you no because what it is doing is it is it, it's it's scattering something but really but it is deploying something on your yeah. account so you get the deploy points the deploy, you get yeah. The, yeah perfect perfect um here's a question for you then if you get the deploy points rob does that class as a deploy for your day for your streak yeah there you go people we, we talked about whether that yeah. should count or not yeah. and uh we decided yes it should yeah Yep, absolutely. Very good. All right, mate, we're going to move on now to the new Kalmar pouch creature that came out at the same time. Yeah. Rob, tell us about the Kalmar pouch creature. Well, we looked at um, some of our, our stuff from Wallaby, um, mm-hmm. and, you know, that's where our pouch creatures have come from. And mm-hmm. uh, we liked the look of this squiddy character that um, that uh, looks like calamari um, and conveniently uh, Robbie and the team way back when named this one calmar so calmar is um, is something that lands on the uh, the light and also void mysteries mm-hmm. um, all of the extreme long details are all in the blog calmar yep. uh, himself lands on uh, virtual colors virtual sapphire submarine Evo and then wildlife and beach POI if however uh the landing pad that's chosen is a light or a void mystery then it then you're not going to be capping calmar you're going to be capping the evolved um version oh. which is calmanium mm-hmm. yeah so there's more points for calmanium this is the only way that uh calmar can evolve though um, yep. is by landing on one of those two things he's similar to sparby uh, which was one that, that uh, I believe Spar Fox is the different version when it lands right. on electric, something like yeah. that. So, right. uh, so yeah, a similar, similar um, vibe to mm-hmm. other pouch creatures that we've done in the past. Um, this one, uh, we just felt like with the launch of the, of the light and something mm-hmm. that we already have with void, this one has really dark eyes. And so yes. it comes from the void into the light. You know, there's, there's always, always some sort of crazy reason that we can try and link these. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how we linked this one. Now, Rob, I'm uh, in this day and age. I, I have to say, I have um, um, you know assigned a gender to each of these two, the ones as well. Okay. Kalmar, I believe, in my personal opinion, is male, and, and Kalmanium is a female. Um, I I don't know why. It's just the way I've uh, I've sort of differentiated between the two itself. So what you're saying is, uh, you purchase a Kalmar. You can't purchase Kalmanium. No, you only purchase the Kalmar. And right. when when that Kalmar, when they land on virtual colors, virtual sapphires, submarines, wildlife, and beach POIs, they are a Kalmar. But if they land on an elemental mysteries and then void mystery and light mystery, they are Kalmanium, and they bounce back and forward between those two depending upon what they actually land on. So right. there you go. It, it will um, not stay at the Kalmanium um, no. level, only, only if no. it lands on those two types, yeah. Because there is different points, people, for the different ones. So for the Kalmar, um, you you got to capture points of 200 and cap on of 100, whereas Calmanium capture points of 400, but you still got the same cap on points of 100. So no matter what your one lands on for you personally as an owner, you're always going to 100-point cap on. 
um, but it d- differentiates the caps uh, points between the capper, not the cap on. So yeah. there you go. So one, one more piece of information that yeah. kind of ties together the light mystery and mm-hmm. uh, calmanium is that you can uh, magnetize the light mystery. Yes. So that has a chance of drawing that. It's not the mm-hmm. only thing that lands on light mystery. Mm-hmm. So you may get some of the other stuff like uh, guardian uh, glass guardians, things of yeah. that nature, things that are attracted to light is what, how we saw it. Mm-hmm. Um, so anyway, yeah, that that's what's going on there. The, the magnetizing of the light mystery that was broken at launch but oh, it has been fixed just perfect so you know, perfect yeah. perfect and um also one more thing rob before we move mm-hmm. on and that is if you haven't this is brand new people this is a brand new munzee type so if you haven't updated your actual lists then go and update your lists now so that includes filters, filters yeah. sorry filters i meant so yeah update your filters asap to get this on um like we did with the pit stop um pois mm-hmm. you, you have to update your filters from there so very good mate now moving on because Monday, the July 1st, Munzee's birthday month. Firstly, how old is Munzee going to be, Rob? Well, we're going to be a teenager. There you go. <laughs> 13. Can you believe it? Can 13. you even believe it? 13. 13. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So um, long, long time coming. You know, we finally made it to being a teenager. Um, mm-hmm. Have acted like a teenager for a while. <laughs> uh, mainly because yeah. of me. Sorry about that. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, the... Uh, We've made it to the 13th year. Um, mm-hmm. Obviously, we've got the uh, birthday events that are going on. Yep. Um, I believe it's something like uh, 22 out of the 44 events mm-hmm. uh, on the calendar of birthday events. So uh, check those out. Um, still time to add a birthday package for anyone. Mm-hmm. Um, as far as uh, other things that are happening for the birthday month, well, by the time this podcast goes live, we may have announced um, some of those. However, oh. um, I do not know for sure, not for sure enough yeah. to tell yeah. you and yeah. our lovely listeners on this podcast. So I'm sense. just going to say, stay tuned. You'll have to watch the blog yourself if you want mm-hmm. the information immediately before July 1st. Um, just in case we put any uh, lead up information out there. So still watch the blog, people, and still have a look at the what's new in the app itself. Meanwhile, Rob, one more question about the Calmar. Okay. Uh, you can only you ha- can uh, you have to buy this through the Freeze Tag store itself. You can't get it through any other way. So through the Freeze Tag store, and it is a limited time frame, people. So yeah. this is a limited time. So get your Calmar in now, and you can only buy one. So uh, is that correct, Rob? Yeah. Yeah, that is. Thank you. Yep, there you go. So make sure you get it in. Go to the Freeze Tag store. Get your Kalmar today as I have mine. And already it's been bouncing, Rob. I like it. I like yeah, it. Yeah, that's so. good. All right, Rob, moving on now to the question of the week because we're getting on uh, in Long in the Tooth. This one is from uh, Q22. Q17. She likes it when I say that. Uh, <laughs> she asks, uh, I know we can get a badge for capping all the ultimates, alternamiths, sorry, uh-huh. for Munzee HQ employees. But wouldn't it also be cool to get a badge for capping all the one type, like all the Mother Earth or all the Ice Mysteries? And, uh, yeah, so she's asking about, you know, what, what, what do you think about that, Rob? Is there a possibility where we can get more badges that way? Interesting. This comes in as a question slash request slash suggestion. <laughs> all of those all things. Of, all rolled, of the above. <laughs> all of them <laughs> rolled into one. And, um, well, Brenda, that's her name. Yeah. Because um, so I've hung out with her, you know, for many years. Mm-hmm. Um, Pokemon Go friends and everything. Uh, anyway, um, I, this is a good idea. The, this is, honestly, this is something we have never even discussed. Uh, mm-hmm. I don't remember ever hearing this as a thought a question um something like that uh it it makes for an interesting um side challenge i suppose Mm -hmm. um it's been a very long time since we've added a new alternative myth for um for the team so Mm -hmm. yeah maybe we maybe we kick that around we come up with another one we add those to the existing team accounts and maybe kick something like this off. I like it. It's it's interesting. We we'll see. There we go, people. See? See what happens when you actually write in with your thoughts and your ideas. Sometimes they do kick things around at yeah. Muzzy HQ and uh, you have some great ideas. So there you go. That's exactly what it's about. Meanwhile, Rob, we're going to end now, of course, as always, with the Munzee tip of the week. This one comes from me because I do this for my own clan every single time, and that is uh, June 1st rolls around. 
uh, sorry, June, July 1st rolls around. So the first of the month rolls around. I message my clan, Rob, and I say, dump that curate, people. Dump one out of the two, because they're all premium. Dump one out of the two curates, and then don't cap any greenies for that day. Uh, and then the next day, dump the second one. So you've got empty curate spaces ready to go for July 3rd because, Rob, I have been um, in, in discussions with a few different new players or returning players who asked about that. Rob, it was only like a week ago. One player said, all I needed was one curate to be done and I did one and, and I didn't get anything for it. What happened? It's because <laughs> they had it prior to people. So make sure yeah. your curates only, uh, when they break, they, they only go towards the actual clan wall's requirements if you got that curate, you got the curate from a green itself in that clan warm month. So it's a hard lesson to learn, Rob, but uh, we've all been there and we've all done that, including myself. So <laughs> It's true. Yeah. I have as well. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you you mentioned it, uh, but mm-hmm. it needs to be highlighted. If mm-hmm. you do this, if you get rid of a crate, I call them, as you know, um, <laughs> on, uh, on the first, and then you capture something that could give you a, a new crate if you capture mm-hmm. something after that on that day or on mm-hmm. the second then you're going to have a crate that is before so be yeah. very careful of that i mean exactly. rums give these crates now yes. elemental mysteries mm-hmm. do like there's all kinds of stuff so if you're gonna ditch one on the first beware <laughs> that you don't <laughs> get one on the first or second anyway yes uh, it's exactly. a great tip i uh, i recommend it as well mm-hmm. um however if you if if it's pretty close to opening just just keep playing on the just first keep, and yeah, the play. second. I, yeah, I like yeah, that yeah. idea yeah. even more than ditching yeah. them. Just keep playing. Yeah. I'm talking about the ones you get that later on and it takes yeah. it forever to open. Yeah. So exactly. Yep. And uh, Sam, this is a shout out for you, mate. I'm going to always say the word curate, just saying. Um, <laughs> I'm always going to say cubable, not cubable as well. See, so, And uh, I'm always going to say cup of Z. Apparently I say cup of Z wrong. I don't yeah. know how I say it wrong. Cup of Z. Apparently. Cup of Z, yeah. Yeah. Cup of Z. Anyway. It, I'm, I'm Australian. This is my accent. So there you go. <laughs> All right, Rob, that ends another official Munzee podcast. Uh, thanks for joining us on this Munzee adventure. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and review on your favorite podcasting app. And, of course, join us next week for another very, very, very informative episode. And remember, Munzee is more than a game. It's a worldwide community of mobile game players. So keep scanning, keep discovering, and keep that Munzee spirit alive. Rob, one, two, three, Munzee on! Munzee on! Oh, uh, I was ahead of you, as wow. always. I as didn't always. think you'd be that quick today. <laughs>